Hello everyone. Uh, today I am going to discuss something quite important for all the entrance examinations which are coming up, especially for the NEET and NEET MDS. Also, considering the topic, even the MBBS uh, NEET students can consider uh, to hear, listen to this video. It's a very important topic. Normally, the students do get confused between the various tests, and hence I have come up with a small revision video. It's tests of significance for quick revision. Okay, so we just first see what is test of significance. The methodology of statistics which deals with the technique to analyze how far the differences between the estimates from different samples are due to sampling variation or otherwise is known as test of significance. I know it's quite difficult when such words come up. The most important thing that we need to remember is that what we are checking in test of significance is that the difference which is obtained between those two groups is not due to uh, any coincidence but it is true difference that we are checking. These tests are basically classified as parametric and non-parametric tests. Parametric tests are done when the data is normally distributed and sample must be randomly selected. The non-parametric tests are the distribution of data cannot be assumed to be normal and when the samples are not randomly uh, selected. The different tests that you must know or at least the uh, names of these tests should be remembered. Z-test, T-test, variance, variance ratio test, analysis of variance and chi-square are parametric tests. Non-parametric tests are sign test, Wilcoxon sign rank test, man whitney u test, chris Wallace test and Friedman test. Now, chi-square test is a uh, test which has multiple applications. We will be coming to it. The points to remember about parametric tests are that uh, you should remember that the t test and the z test are for comparison between two means and we should remember one thing that when means is uh, is comes into question that means the data is quantitative so when two sample sizes with means are being compared you have to use t test and z test t test is used when the sample is less than 100 or it is called as a small sample and whenever a large sample size is used, a Z test is used. ANOVA is another parametric test which is used when there are more than three groups or more than three means because we can use it only when there is quantitative data. So what is the takeaway message here? That parametric tests are used when there is normally distributed data and quantitative data. So that means that the data scale of the data is interval or ratio. Now, chi-square test. A lot of questions are asked about chi-square test and has led to a lot of confusion. I have come up with this video only for that reason. So, remember that chi-square test is for qualitative data, for nominal or ordinal data. The data may not be normally distributed. It is used especially to check if this, it is, uh, there is a statistical significance difference between observed frequencies and expected frequencies. It is also used to, uh, can be said, to used for standard error of difference between proportions because there is qualitative data. It is also used to uh, uh, in reference to degrees of freedom. Now this question has been asked quite a number of times. The formula for degrees of freedom is rho minus 1 into column minus 1 that is r minus c into c minus uh, c minus sorry r minus 1 into c minus 1. Correlation. Uh, relationship between two variables whenever we compare between two variables it is called as correlation the data when has to be presented with uh, correlation is scatter plot the correlation coefficient is always going to be between minus 1 to plus 1 so any number which is more than 1 is a computational mistake such questions have been asked so i have specified this when there is zero value is zero that means there is no relation between the variables as the value of correlation coefficient goes towards 1, that is it could be 0 0.8, 0 0.9, such values show that there is more stronger correlation between those variables. Whenever there is minus sign, it means negative correlation, plus sign is positive correlation. Remember when I say positive correlation, it means that as one variable increases, the other also increases. And when we say negative, it means that one variable increases, the other variable decreases. Then the considering the difficulty levels of the question examinations uh, uh, like INICET and all of these were considerably difficult when it came to 
public health dentistry so also uh, brushing up with regression regression is a method that helps predict the value of one variable a dependent variable from the knowledge of the other independent variables now this regression can be classified based on the number of independent variables simple regression is meant one independent variable to predict the value of one dependent variable whereas multiple regression is when more than two independent variables are required are used to predict the value of dependent variable then type of variables linear regression is when both dependent and independent variables are quantitative and logistic regression is used when the dependent variable is could be qualitative or dichotomous and an independent variable could be qualitative quantitative or both so the take away message here to measure association the strength of association is given by correlation it uh, and the strength of association is measured by chi square whenever this comes in reference to study designs the strength of association is measured with the help of odds ratio don't get confused between these terminologies for variation of one factor with the other regression is used also uh, just uh, to know these words or terminology so that if they come in the options you should not get confused there is a concept called survival analysis there are three quite a lot of different types but the commonly used ones are survival rates actuarial or the life table and kaplan meier method these are different methods of survival analysis survival analysis is basically a method used to assess uh, how far a person lives uh, in statistical terminologies of course after they get the disease this is particularly for uh, long term diseases especially like cancers thank you everyone do subscribe to the channel of edge dental pg for more such learning videos also uh, if any queries uh, my number has been given do contact for any queries or you can also comment on the video do listen to this videos for all those entrance exam going students especially for mds neat and on uh, mbbs neat examinations it would be really helpful for you to solve the mcqs thank you very much do 